Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ben. Ailey. Isaac. Juice. And we're going to be giving you a review today of The Take. This documentary was made in 2004 by some Canadian filmmakers and it follows um, this one factory and the struggle in Buenos Aires, Argentina during this poor economic time due to the poor leadership of Carlos Menem. We follow this uh, group of factory workers um, whose factory gets taken away but then they decide that they want to they take it back and start using it and working in it again because they feel that they're the ones who make the factory live. The documentary also shows on factories that are being taken over by their, their former workers and just the whole um, political climate of the time. With that, we're going to be discussing the strengths and weaknesses of the documentary. I'd say some of the strengths about it, particularly for me, is the musical aspect of it. I think it had a really good score and then also the way that it was shot with the um, the noises of the factory and stuff like that, it sounded very rhythmic. Definitely, I, I feel like the music really added to moments where they would show some hardship and then you hear just that score in the background that really brought up the tempo of the, uh, the documentary. Go for this for us. Yeah, I thought that the, all the shots that they used were really convincing, especially there was this one shot where they were showing this little girl at the end of the garbage. The children, who used to eat American fast food, now sort through its garbage. Yeah, definitely the shots have the viewer relate to what's happening with these people. They definitely did it in a way where they keep it, uh, like, the shots strong to their point. Um, like, even though the that's one of like their things that they did like really good is they make you feel for these type these people and they make Venom look like a really big villain. Uh, even though realistically it probably wasn't as as bad, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think the the thing that it's a pretty heartfelt film. It definitely focuses on feeling Of You've seen other documentaries. Um, they usually bring in people who are uh, knowledgeable of the subject, maybe experts, yeah. Sometimes even celebrities, like if they have something to do with the events. As we saw in this documentary, we didn't see any of that. Because these experts who go on, they know why it is like this. And it's not just like the bare minimum answer, it's like historically why it's like this, economically why it's like this. Which I think they might have left that out on purpose just to convince us that everything was so bad. Yeah, it, this film was definitely biased. Something I noticed that maybe it's just me being like a psychopath was that it came, these were people who were in a very high place of privilege and living pretty good lives of luxury until this like recession happened. And something that kind of bothered me was how the citizens in this, in this town in Buenos Aires didn't particularly care about the poverty problem that affected most of Argentina until it affected them because of their recession. And I think it just, the film kind of highlighted that life of luxury and the poverty problem was basically ignored until it became them. And I just kind of felt that that was duty. Definitely keeps uh, uh, more negatives and positives you can you can definitely tell, but yeah, the film definitely is uh, more on the biased side, but mostly because they're, taking, they're interviewing people who are in that bottom and they have a lot of things to say about the hierarchy um, in Argentina at the time. I feel if they would have 
uh, gotten some interviews of more higher up people, not just like the business owners. Uh, it would have been more, you know, you could see their perspectives as well as the other people, and then you could kind of, it wouldn't be as exaggerated that, you know, Menem's the villain, the government's against the people. Yeah, they really hammered home every single point. It was so repetitive. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, was. Repetitive. Yeah. it didn't allow for viewer to kind of like formulate their own opinion on the situation there was very much an opinion given and it was either that or you were wrong yeah. basically which i mean personally i agree with what they did it belongs to you you're the things that made it run mm -hmm. but i'd still as someone who thinks that i would still appreciate like facts mm -hmm. and evidence Definitely. more than just talking with them you know yeah, I think this documentary just needed more balance. It was just sort of out of proportion a lot of times with just information and just opinions. So I think if they just, if they were going to redo it, which they probably would. But if they were, I think they could have just made it a little more balanced. So what do you guys think? What do you, what do you, how do you, how do you rate it overall? Um, I'm thinking like two cents? Maybe it's 2.5. 2.5, yeah, 2.5. Like, I, I'm like, oh, this is like, you know, I agreed with them yeah. until Haley did the research and found out that it was a little bit on the exaggerated side. So. Yeah, well, that's why I give it two stars because I immediately was like, I need to figure out why this isn't wrong. It's the definitely... credibility. The credibility yeah. of the right. two stars. Like, I, like, you still, I think we all collectively still agree with them yeah. taking back yeah, the factory. Definitely. Yeah, I think but that's what it, they should it, have done. But. They just, they were so close. It was like a little circle that we were viewing when there was so much more going on. Right. I mean, I'll give it credit. It was very heartfelt and convincing. It just was not good at the Well, thanks guys so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this, how about you uh, click that bell, like and subscribe. And the next video will be right here. Leave um, the comments down below. Make like this video blow up on the algorithm. Yeah, that's, that's all we have for you guys today. Catch right. the next one. Catch you later, guys. One, two, three. Oh, shit. A wild Ben looking. Spin at the that wheel. <laughs> Spin <laughs> that wheel. Oh. oh. Ben, you gotta move the other one. It's it's already <laughs> touching the other one. Oh. oh. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. He's, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Bye, Ben. Later.